go in there. And you just heard a brief preview for the short film, Who I've Become. My name is Will Michael, and I directed and edited the film. How's it going? My name is Damian Ross. I am the writer slash lead actor in the film. Hi, my name is Sarah Hayes. Um, I was the makeup and costume designer for the film that we did. Today we're going to be hitting uh, many points uh, of the production and talk about many aspects of uh, what it, what went into actually making the film. And the first question I have is for Damien, actually. Just give a little bit of a brief plot overview of the film and then just kind of discuss, like, like, for it being your very first screenplay, how were you inspired while writing it? Well, the plot is there are three teenagers, um, a couple and uh, a sister. And they're walking, you know, and they're wandering around and they end up uh, looking at an old abandoned house and uh, it turns out that the, they think it's abandoned but it's not it's actually occupied by a uh, pretty crazy dude um, he's not a big fan of people leaving him uh, generally so uh, you know he's uh, he actually has his own personal graveyard out back and uh, you know he ends up murdering him but uh, there's a little twist at the end I don't want to give it away. Uh, you should just go and see it when it comes to the film festival. Throughout the process of writing it, I, uh, I know I just sort of had to get into like the mindset of uh, you know what I would do, or you know what I think someone else would do if they were in his shoes or in the the uh, kid's shoes. Um, there's the for it being my first screenplay, it was pretty good. However, there were a lot of things that I put into the screenplay that could have been taken out. Um, I'm actually learning more now with Danny Boyd. He's teaching me, you know, that there are some things that aren't necessary for a screenplay. That way you don't have a 20 page, you know, screenplay when it can be 12 or 13. Um, I, I enjoyed writing the film and I really enjoyed working with the crew though. So uh, whenever you enjoy who you're gonna be working with, makes it a lot easier to write yes sir and uh speaking of the film festival hopefully it will be screened at the fourth annual tower awards which will be hosted at west virginia state university on april 28th at 5 p.m and we hope to see everybody there to uh see all the hard work that we have put into making this film uh, my next question is for uh sarah uh sarah you were in charge of uh arranging the costumes and doing the makeup and giving the characters this certain look how was that experience for you and being able to do makeup and whatnot and to give characters this certain unique look that's necessary for a short horror film? I've always loved makeup and um, being able to change the face. So being able to do this for a film so you can see it on screen, it's really cool. But for Damien, when I put the makeup on him, I didn't want to really change his face too much because he's already kind of... A little bit scary looking because you're so tall and you're so tall and I just wanted to you know darken his features and make him super scary looking like not from like a traditional horror movie with like a st prosthetics and things but just like subtle and I would like to get into prosthetics though I've looked into that. Talk a little bit about your mindset and being able to pull off the intensity and insanity of this killer. The acting for me was uh, a lot easier being that I wrote it. So when I wrote him, you know, I had a specific person, a specific way he would act in mind. So, I mean, if you're acting out someone else's character, it's harder than acting out your own. Um, uh, you know, I, I knew that he would be like the laughable type that he was, you know, kind of wacky, didn't really care. Like, he was so crazy that he was just, you know, he just laughed and just killing was his hobby. So it was like, I knew that and had to portray that. And as far as the acting goes, never had acting class. So I'm hoping to get better at that. Each one of you, talk a little bit about how just the atmosphere of the set and getting stuff done and 
just give it just give a, a few of your thoughts about actually being on set and being a part of the production and getting to see it really just come together um definitely i feel like the whole thing was a team effort and if certain players don't step up then it throws the whole production off and we had some problems in the beginning but it worked itself out in the end but just being on set you really see how much work it takes just to shoot one scene and how many times you have to do it to get it right um i think that uh we all learned a lot of stuff there, were, there was a lot of firsts for us so to sit and say that there were problems would be true but to sit and say that those problems weren't warranted would be false because uh it was inevitable that there was going to be something, you know, here and there. And, uh, but I think that we all learn from it. And, uh, I think that the next thing that we work on, whether it be individually or whether it be with the same group, will be a lot better, will be a lot more organized and uh, consistent. We actually, our cinematographer was brought in the day of, you know, he just sort of, you know, came along with one of the, crew members and he did our camera work and he was amazing at it and I really hope Josh if you're listening I hope to do work with you uh, soon how did you find it this is your first time directing I take it like a film on this level how did you because I know a few times people were getting distracted and we were losing sunlight so how did you you know rally people up without coming off as like because I know you said you didn't want to come off as a jerk. I mean, we back when we were shooting, it got dark at one time, like six. We started shooting at four thirty on the first day, and we had some daylight scenes to cover, and it just felt like it wasn't going like like it did require you know a little bit of hey you know come on we gotta focus on this before the sun goes down. We're gonna lose light. We need to get the lighting equipment set up so that because of it's dark and we don't see what we're doing, it's a little difficult. Um, when you went into the editing process, uh, where did you get your um, inspiration from? Because um, I know that your version was so like boom in your face in a good way. So it was like above and beyond what I could have edited so where did you thank you but where did you get your inspiration from to make it so big well I mean editing has always been something that I've been doing since um I believe my f the very first thing I edited was um I was 11 years old and um I kind of Honestly, I self-taught myself mostly everything after watching my dad do a certain extent of what he actually knows. But um, the inspiration, I mean, I, I had already, like, I was in seventh grade, a couple times in high school, I had made my own films where it's just me doing everything. It's just a, a one-person plot. And uh, they were actually horror films. And um, I had an idea of how dramatic it would be while being on the set and directing and being with Damien while he wrote the script. And I just had I had my own idea of like what I wanted it to look like and like the, the feel that it was gonna have, like the the color correction to it, the blueness that it kind of had, and the the sound, the audio, and everything. I just kind of I kind of already had my own vision for it before I actually sat down and started doing it. So when I sat down and started doing it, it kind of just all it all came together. It's gonna be great. Uh, I mean, to have something that uh, you know was an assignment beginning with. I mean, you had a lot of fun on it though. You know, I mean, I hate assignments ninety percent of the time but this was it was awesome uh production assignments are great i'm pumped for this to be in the film festival because i want people to see what we did for our first time ever working as a group as a production i feel like for the first time it's an amazing job that we all did and i'm just pumped 
for people to see it and appreciate it because I know I appreciate it a lot because I'm really proud of it. Um, I just want to thank uh, Sarah and Davian for being with me today and for just kind of discussing a little bit about the film before it's actually pushed out there and uh, put out there to the world a little bit more than it is right now. And with that being said, we are now going to present to you a little audio snippet from a scene of the movie, and we hope you've enjoyed listening to us. Uh, have a good day. Consider yourself lucky. You get to lay next to Karen. Oh, Karen was so sweet. She just pissed me off, because like everyone else, she just wanted to leave. No one wants to stay with me. Oh my God, but who can blame him? You know, who wants to be with a guy like me? An alcoholic for a mom and hell, a gambler for a dad. Hell, they didn't want me either. But I'm not gonna lose my friends again. I'm not gonna lose the people that care for me. Even if they don't realize their feelings, I do! And now because of this, we don't ever have to be apart. We can be together forever. <laughs>